I was actually able to speak to him this morning, that's Tuesday morning U.S. time. He sounded very upbeat and happy over the phone, telling me he and his family are enjoying New York very much. Now, uh, as you can imagine, after uh, what they have been going through, it's going to take some time for them to uh, settle down and let all the information sink in. Uh, so that's why he says, at least for now, he wants to keep a low profile. But one thing he said that really stood out was how much he enjoyed the New York sunshine. The day after his arrival, that was a Sunday, gorgeous day in New York, warm temperatures, uh, breezy weather, and uh, abundance of sunshine. He and his family were able to uh, get out of their apartment building just to hang out uh, in a park near nearby. Uh, he was still in a wheelchair because uh, he, w uh, he is still recovering from a foot injury sustained from that dramatic escape. But um, there they were, enjoying the sunshine, uh, smiling, uh, relaxing, and chatting with others. And he said, you know, I really, I just felt so great to be able to soak in the sun. I haven't been able, I haven't been able to do that for seven years. So uh, right now, he's able to do that, but uh, only 7,000 miles away from his hometown where uh, he would rather be, Pauline. Yeah, he must have such uh, mixed feelings about being in New York, but he does look very relaxed there in that park uh, with his wife. Uh, Stephen, I just want to bring our viewers uh, some sound from Saturday when you had just landed in New York after that flight with Chen Guangcheng from Beijing. Let's take a listen, and then I'll talk to you about what it was like on that flight. Our flight United 88 just landed here in New York after 13 hours of flight from Beijing. Mr. Chen along with his wife and two kids, are safe and sound in, in the United States. Now, as of now, they're deplaning from the very front cabin, and that's where they were seated, in the uh, very front, uh, front of the uh, aircraft in the business class. And the most of the reporters are stuck in the economy class. And just to, to illustrate the sensitivity of the story, for, uh, during much of the flight, we were not allowed to uh, uh, meet him or talk to him. So, Stephen, you weren't really allowed to have much contact with him on that flight, but tell us what was it like, and did he actually get to speak to any reporters, and, and was that reporter ever able to relay any of his messages to you? Well, it was a very long, arduous journey for us, especially uh, since we were stuck in the economy uh, section of the plane. He, of course, and his family and the U.S. Embassy escort, as, a, as I uh, mentioned, was uh, uh, confined in the very front of the aircraft. And the airline actually had to bump quite a few passengers from their confirmed business class seats to accommodate Chen's uh, very last-minute travel plans. One of uh, those passengers happened to be sit next to me. At first, he and his wife both got bumped, uh, were very angry about this. Uh, but when they found out the reason behind their downgrade, they instantly changed their mind and their attitude, saying, wow, uh, it's great we were, we were able to do this, to do our bit to contribute to a very good cause. And just another anecdote to show uh, how much his story and his plight have uh, really resonated with the rest of the world. Uh, even when you are not talking about the big issues, his uh, story uh, really exposes the fault lines in the Chinese system, the haves versus the have-nots, the powerful versus the voidless. Even when you're talking about just uh, from a purely human interest angle, uh, his story really has touched touched many people around the world, and they're just so happy and relieved to see him uh, to be finally able to get to the U.S. to take a break, as he says. Um, of course, when that plane landed, that's why more than him, uh, not just him, but the rest of the plane felt very much a sense of relief that one important chapter and not so uh, pleasant chapter of the saga has finally reached to a conclusion.